This is one of my most anticipated films of the year because of all the talent that's involved. We're talking David Fincher, Michael Fassbender, Tilda Swin in a neo-noir action thriller. How could you not be excited for this film? But the question is, is this one of the best films of the year? Is this one of David Fincher's best films? Or is it a bit of a disappointment? Let's talk about it. What is going on movie fans and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all my review for the brand new David Fincher film by the name of The Killer which is based on a graphic novel which I haven't read but that didn't stop this from being one of my most anticipated films of the year and we're here to talk about it in today's spoiler free review but first I want to talk to you all in the comments. Let me know if you're a David Fincher fan if you were looking forward to this movie. Have you read the graphic novel but more importantly once you've seen the film what worked what didn't work what you think about the direction the story Story, the performances what were some of your favorite scenes were you disappointed and also let's have some fun in the comments if you're a fan of David Fincher and Michael Fassbender why don't you list some of your favorite films by both of those talented individuals in the comments below so let's talk about the killer again I was very excited to see it and I want to start off by talking about one of my favorite directors and that is David Fincher I really appreciate the stylized approach he has to this very cold and calculated methodical assassin killer who makes a mistake in this film on one of his missions and we watch those ramifications play out as he's on this journey of revenge and as I was watching this movie and again is David Fincher detailed this is the man that does like 90 takes to get like a pencil moving on a table right he's very detailed I was shocked by how simple and straightforward the story was but with that still being said I was still absolutely floored by the incredible craftsmanship of his filmmaking every frame just has so much precision and detail behind it and I really enjoyed the choices that were made because they felt that they had purpose and while the story might be simple that doesn't stop David Fincher from exploring and unpacking packing this character's mind while doing all these killings and how this character itself who we'll talk about here in a second about Michael Fassbender he's justifying what he's doing but then as an audience we're actually getting to see what goes into what he does and how he's not as perfect as he thinks he is. I do feel as though that some people might look past the incredible amount of detail because the story is so familiar but when you pay attention to the color grading the choice of the humor added you'll notice the different locations that we go to when how different they are how they contrast each other but how it tells a story within itself and it just flows so smoothly and I just really appreciated the incredible direction by yet again like I said one of the best filmmakers working today but talking about precision and detail let's talk about Michael Fassbender who I'm just such a big fan of he is the perfect actor to play in a world created by David Fincher we get to see him from the very opening scene and you get an idea of the tone and what kind of character we're diving into as he's just as meticulous as the director this character isn't flashy this is very much someone that likes to play in the shadows and Michael Fassbender is perfect in this role I really enjoyed how the character is like unintentionally funny at moments from him ordering gadgets on Amazon to him dealing with like local arms dealers to get his weapons like this is a very fun character and the way Fassbender plays it is so well we get to see him on these missions and while there isn't like necessarily a character arc or like a moment where where the character changes their philosophy on life you get to have fun with this character the way he handles things and again the brilliance of Michael Fassbender it takes an actor like his caliber to play this role because when you all see the film the character who goes by a lot of different names he isn't someone that you can necessarily root for because there isn't like a lot of layers or getting a bunch of backstory on the character so it requires an actor to convey a lot with a little given to the audience and I thought Michael Fassbender yet again was just amazing in this role now a lot of you all will feel that there are some familiar beats that you've seen in this type of genre before but it isn't stereotypical in the sense that you see the cute or the sexy side or the glamorous lifestyle of an assassin like no this isn't the nitty gritty showing you all the stuff that might not be the sexiest thing to see on screen in this genre this isn't James Bond this isn't Bourne this isn't John Wick we get to see this character waiting for hours and days while he's studying his clients as well as we get to see all the not so fun things required from this job and again it's all the details shown of why he gets a killer and how he gets rid of the bodies him removing all the human emotions from what he's doing or at least he's thinking
thinking he's doing so as he's having these monologues of not trusting people. It's again, it's a very interesting and fascinating character study. And again, whether it's the acting from Michael Fassbender or the direction, it's a perfect combination to make this story kind of unfold. Because again, it is very familiar. You've seen it before, but it's the uniqueness of the talent that brings out the sensibilities and the uniqueness to this story. And I can't go without acknowledging the beauty behind the cinematography. I always love Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross music. And I have to say, some of my favorite moments of this film, I think of the opening, like 15 to 20 minutes. Like we spend a lot of time on this one mission. And I love the monologue and how it sets the mood and the tone and lets you know what you're getting into. But also, there is a scene that involves a home invasion that was brutal, very well choreographed. It is an awesome fight sequence in this film. But then maybe, just maybe my favorite scene involves no action at all, but instead it involves two phenomenal actors, two titans of an actor. I'm talking about Michael Fassbender and Tilda Swinton sitting down talking about their job and life and coming to certain things fate it's just a amazing scene by two incredible actors so there are some standout moments and those are some of my favorite scenes of this film but the killer isn't perfect let's talk about my criticisms here as i kind of alluded to a little bit earlier about the simple approach to the narrative unfortunately within that simplicity it lacks depth in the plot and there's really not a lot going on from the supporting characters about like getting to know these characters as i'm always always just personally interested in the mechanics of the world and the world building and again going back to the simple approach to story there isn't much world building there isn't much of learning about the character's backstory how he's been working for this company how long he's been doing this and whatnot there's not a lot of the world building that I personally would have liked to dive deeper into as well as just the relationships between the characters it's very much a matter of fact type of film and you have to as an audience member you have to kind of fill in the blanks which to me create this sense of disattachment to the characters in the story at points as you're just kind of watching these sequences of events without having much care for the characters and their actual motivations. Now as I said earlier I really love the opening of the film and there's some great moments in the middle of the film but without giving away anything of the ending the actual way that we conclude the story to me was very underwhelming because we had all these moments leading up to like darkness and these brutal kills and it just ends on this little to no emotional punch there's really not a true satisfaction to come and face to face with this particular character again our characters thinking they're doing right they're doing justice but once we come head to head with someone he's been looking for the whole time that scene was just like I said underwhelming and once we end the film I just wish it had more of a punch to it so those are my pros those are my cons before I give you all my overall thoughts and my score if you all stuck around to this point in review I want to take the time to thank you at home for watching today's review if you haven't already consider hitting the like button sharing today Today's video sharing your thoughts in the comments and consider subscribing to the channel overall the killer is a very simple and straightforward noir thriller story that you've seen before but it's so well polished by Fincher's meticulous approach Michael Fassbender plays this cold and calculated character who's on this path of revenge so perfectly there's so many good tense felt moments in the scenes that definitely stood out to me it's definitely what I consider to be a slow burn but I still found it to be very entertaining with a good amount of comedy that I wasn't expecting. This is without a doubt a pretty high quality thriller, but it lacks the depth and the complexity of what I love from Fitcher's best work. I'm going to give this film a 3.8 out of 5. Like I said, I found it to be a very high quality action thriller film, but it's not Fincher's best work. This isn't groundbreaking Fincher. This isn't thought provoking David Fincher that I've come to love, but sometimes all time great directors want to have fun. They want to just give us an entertaining film following this assassin and sometimes in life you got to appreciate the simple things so with all that being said this film will have a limited release in theaters on October 27th and from my personal opinion I think it's worth seeing on the big screen because it requires this level of attention from the character and as well as from the audience but if you want to save some dollars this will be available on Netflix on November 10th and I recommend you all see it again Personally, go see it in theaters, but if you don't have the time or the funds and whatnot, it is definitely worth a watch on Netflix again on November 10th. So that's my thoughts on The Killer. Again, 3.8 out of 5. 
That score might go up on a rewatch, but again, I feel pretty confident in my score. But hey, I've said enough about the film. I want to know your thoughts in the comments. Again, have you read the graphic novel? Are you a fan of Fincher and Fassbender? Do you want to see more from them? Because I personally do. But let me know some of your favorite films of theirs. And of course, sharing your thoughts on this film. What worked, what didn't work. Let's have all those conversations in the comments below. Thank you all again for watching today's review. Just a friendly reminder to like, share, comment, and consider subscribing to the channel. You all are awesome. Hope you're staying safe and I'll catch you all on the next video.